blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart Hello lovely people, welcome to Antiso Designs. My name is Florence. In this video, I'll be showing you how I make a simple off-the-shoulder wrap dress. I added straps to mine, but you can still use this same process to make an off-shoulder wrap dress without straps. If you're interested in seeing how I do this, please keep on watching. Thank you. I have my basic bodies here. I have my basic bodice here. This is a wrap dress, so I'm going to make an extension. That's why there's this extra space here. The fabric I'm using for this um, dress does not have any stretch to it. So I'm going to make sure that when the client wears the dress, it is tight fitting on the body. I'm going to also get my under bust measurement as usual. For this person, it's about two, three inches. So I'm going to get three inches. You go to the bust point. I'll mark that now. Now I have my under bust. On the side, I'm going to remove one and a half centimeters. And then on the center front, I'm going to remove just one centimeter. And then connect it back to my waist out. I'm going to make an extension to the other side. So I'll make a straight line. Okay. Now from this um, under bust line, I'm going to connect it to my shoulder duct. And connect the other side too. So I'm going to make mark the extension that I need for my wrap dress. I want to measure the size of my dart first. Three and a half centimeters. So three and this is three and a half centimeters. I'm just going to note that. Then measure from my side seam to the dart, from my side seam to the center front. This is 23 and a half centimeters. So minus three and a half centimeters is 20 centimeters. So I'll mark 20 centimeters here. The reason I'm doing this is for me to get the length I want my wrap to be. I don't want it to be um, all the way to the side seam. So when I cut this and I take out the dart, it will still be shorter on the wrap. That's just why I'm doing this. So I'll um, measure from the center front to that mark so that I can read a straight line. Now, where I want my wrap to stop, I'm going to measure about 9 centimeters up and mark that. Yeah. Now, this is an off shoulder um, wrap also. So I will draw out the shape of the off shoulder. And to do that, I need to get this dart out of the way, but I still want the pattern to be flat. So I will draw a straight line about six or two eight centimeters below and then draw a straight line that's where my um, shoulder that is i'll draw a straight line and cut that open now i'll draw the shape that i want my off shoulder to be all the way to the center front so I'm going to, let it start from my chest line here. So I'm just going to draw the shape that I want. Mm -hmm. The center front is where the wrap is going to overlap. So be careful not to go too low, about one centimeter or two centimeters below the chest line is fine. But anything more than that will be very open, so be careful when you are drawing the shape of your off shoulder. 
so that you don't have something that is too exposed that is if that's not what you're going for mind you there is no dart here because I'm going to cut these two pieces I'm going to cut two pieces of this. That means when I cut the second piece, this dart is also going to be there. That's why I didn't add it here. Now, the important part about making a good wrap dress or a good wrap top is the fitting at the center front or where it's going to overlap. By the time this person wears it, this center front line is where it's going to overlap. So by the time she's um, wrapping it around her, this is how low the wrap is going to be. But a lot of the time, after you've made an extension like this and you've made a cutout like this, it's going to leave a, a room for a lot of excess. So I'll remove that excess by using that. I'll put the first that where my shoulder that was so that by the time I open this again, I can close it. So I'll put the first that here. This is for the first that. I'm going to take out and then the second one I'm going to connect it to my underbust line here which I've already marked so I'm just going to draw a straight line from there to the wrap now I'm also going to tighten this um, side seam so that it will still fit better on the chest of the person now I'm going to remove three centimeters from here and connect that here too it's in a straight line so I'm going to remove that from here this will be the excess so I'm going to cut out here when I'm cutting it I'm going to remove that from the front where the wrap is and I want it to be two inches deep but I cannot take in two inches at once on one place it will be too big so that's why I have one dart line here and one dart here so I'm going to mark half inch on both sides and then connect it back Remember, this is our dart, so I'm going to cut this away. By the time I cut it away and I fold it out here, it won't give me any headache or rumbling. So I'm taking one inch dart here, that's half inch on both sides. I'll take the second dart, one inch on both sides, and connect it to. Please check that whatever you're doing will fit. So if two inches will be too tight, please reduce it. It's good to test patterns before you cut. But since this is what I have done before and it works for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So this, I'm cutting away. I'm cutting away here too. And then here. That is it for the front. Now I'm just going to open up the shoulder that's close here. And then I can cut. I'm going to open this, you can see, I'm also going to cut out this dart, so this is also going to be cut out. So this way, when the person is wearing it, they won't be having gaps or gaping anywhere. I'm going to cut this out and cut out the rest, then show you how I close the starts and redraw the um, wrap. Okay. and this is my center front and this is my wrap right it's a very thick wrap so that means the belt is going to be very big which is the aim I'm going to cut these dots and close them so this is my center front this is the dot I'm going to close it like I said there's not going to be any disturbance here so I'm just going to close that and do the same for the other side as you can see this line isn't matching anymore so I'll go back in and and retro the line.
I'm going to cut it out so that you can see the real shape of the wrap. And now this is this is what it looks like. So this way I won't really be having any cape. Now for the side front. Let me draw that with a marker. As you can see, this line here is reaching this place and it's too pointy. Nobody's plot or nobody's shape is pointing like that. So I'm going to smoothen it out with a curve. I'm going to use my curve to smoothen it out. That way. You can see now this is now the shape of my side thing. I'm going to cut that off too. Now I'm going to try and match the front and the side so that by walking it and then put my notches so that when I'm sewing it I sew them accurately. So I'll do that. And then I'll see if anything needs um, I'm going to smoothen this side too. That doesn't look natural so I'm going to also smoothen it. Make it a nice curve. Yeah, I'll cut that out. Okay, now I'm going to walk it down the center front and the side front and then see if anyone is shorter, if anyone is longer, whether to add something or not, and then also add my notches. So. can see as you can see the um the side front is a bit longer but since it's matching with the chest line i'm going to mark that this should be cut out so i'll use this space now i'm going to add notches so notch one So that is it for the front. Now to the back. For the back, this one will pretty much be straightforward. I'm going to measure where I want my um, off shoulder to start. It doesn't really have to be the same as the front. So I want it to start a little higher, so somewhere around here, and uh, maybe slope a little. So somewhere here, uh, I'm going to draw a sloping line. here that's since there's not going to be zipper and the back I'm just going to add like one centimeter same allowance just to still have back shape in here and then for my darts I'm going to increase it and mark one centimeter on both sides this is because because it's an off shoulder I still need it to be a bit tight on the body and then connect it straight down. Oh, this is my back. I'm going to put notches. I'll add a seam allowance here to join both sides. But that is basically it for the back. There's no extra anything. Alright, so since this is sloppy, I'm going to match the darts on both sides. I'll fold it and match it and then redraw the slope. As you can see, it's not really matching anymore. As you can see, it's not really matching anymore. So I'm going to redraw that line so that they are both matching. 
and that is it for the back. I'll add my seam allowance and then sew it. That's basically it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail I took a red pill, I know life's short So I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel?